Hey, welcome everyone. This is a quick video on a Cisco console cable. And I got a couple questions about how to get this hooked up to a Mac uh, over USB, or in case of some cases, USB on both ends. So I thought I'd make a quick video on it. Um, the Mac I have has only USB-C ports on it, and you can see the traditional uh, console cable here is a DB9 serial port to an RJ45, and the RJ45 goes into the Cisco equipment, and then the DB9 here goes into a serial port, which of course no computer comes with today. So a lot of people sell these uh, USB serial adapters. Keyspan's one of them, one of the more popular ones. Let me show you an image of that. Looks like one of these. And again, they work okay. They're not always perfect, but they work okay. And what I found is, you know, in the world of the uh, USB on a Mac, it works a lot better without the adapter. So I found this. Let me go to here. And I'm going to put in USB console cable. And we can find uh, cables like this, which are USB to RJ45, but they're all in one. There's no adapter. That looks kind of like the one I have. So it's USB-C on this end, and it's RJ45 on this end. And you can see they have different console cables this particular company supplies. This is a traditional console cable. This is a traditional console cable when they first started the USB end of it, where the, the USB end of this would plug into the Cisco gear. This is the standard USB um, to RJ45, and this is the new USB-C. This is the one I got for the Mac. So um, this is the one I'd order. There's a bunch of them. They're important that they say they have the FTDI chip in them. And in doing that, what happens is when you plug it into a computer, it shows up as a COM port or a serial port or a device. In our case, we're using a Mac, so it's a Linux uh, device, and it'll show up in our, in our dev folder, and I'll show you how to use that. So this is the one we ordered. I actually have one here sitting next to me, and I'm going to show you how to use it. So let us jump into a terminal prompt first. I'm going to use this, resize this. So I'm going to move into the slash dev folder. And again, that's from the root with the uh, CD space slash is moved to the root of the drive and then go into the dev folder and start there. And if I do an LS, you'll see there's tons of resources in here. If I do an LS for anything, USB anything, I don't have anything in here. And that's the important thing. Um, in Linux, the devices will appear in here uh, as uh, objects or folders or whatever you want to call them, pointers, um, when you connect something. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the USB end of my, um, my cable and plug it into my Mac. I'm going to rerun this command, and you'll see two objects appear. And the two objects will kind of have some uniqueness to their names depending on um, what product particularly you bought. In my case, it shows up a, a CU USB serial adapter and a TTY uh, USB serial adapter. And the way you can use these is directly here in the console or with an app. Now, for sake of ease, I'm going to show you the app first. I am using an app called, which I love, by the way. I, I didn't really figure it out until later how to use this app, but for a Mac, if you have lots of connections, I have hundreds of connections literally under this client, which I'm not going to open in my video, but um, you can store all sorts of information and connections. And I've set up a physical connection here by uh, making a folder called Physical Connections and adding a terminal uh, entry. And I called it USB Serial Console. Then I right click it and I go to properties and I define a little bit more about it. First of all, I define it as a serial port connection. You can monkey with your display options, your cursor, your terminal, how far you back want it to scroll. There's logs and stuff. But really, realistically, what I'm here interested today is to show you the serial port connections. If you're under a um, uh, putty or something like that, it might show up as a COM port in your Windows environment. So you can kind of take a look here. It says USB serial. I hit the drop down. I get USB serial A001TX 
G, which matches the settings down here of the object that appeared uh, when I installed it, or just inserted it, literally. There's no drivers or anything for this thing. So when I come into my configuration, I tell it to use that and set the baud rate. And then you can go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and just connect it. And you can see I actually have a connection and that's just an old AP I'm using as my demo. Uh, let me go ahead and disconnect that. All right, our next example, we're going to use the terminal window. And all you have to do is when you insert your object, um, just a little tip, if you had this cable inserted and opened a program like PuTTY or TSX or one of those, and then you're going to try to use the screen uh, to do it on terminal, you might want to pull your cable out for a moment and then plug it back in. So I have my cable out at the moment. So I'm going to go back into the dev folder and I'm going to do an LS for anything USB, anything. And you can see I have no, no, no connections, no devices. I'm going to put it back in and now I'm going to run it again. And the reason you pull the cable out is so that it doesn't, some of the other programs can hang that device and lock it even after you kill them and quit the, uh, the device out or quit the program out. So what you want to do is take the cable out for a minute, plug it back in, and we can see it there. Now I'm going to use the CU one, USB, and I don't really remember when I use one and when I use the other, but I usually use the first one. So to, to use the screen as a terminal emulation program, you do screen slash dev slash the device cu.usb serial and then the baud rate you want to run and as you can see we are connected into our cisco gear um, and of course i don't have that command but you get the idea so either way um, if you're using another application just got to figure out how to identify it in the uh, mac or linux and it's usually at the dev command and the best thing is to run that ls command to look for a star usb star and before and after you plug the cable in but the cable does work awesome it works every time now one last little note is as cisco moves forward um, they have a usb to usb uh, console cable usb c let's see if we can find it um, a lot of cisco now is taking uh, straight usb to usb meaning something like this where they have a micro on one end, or they might have this on both ends. So there are cables out there. I don't particularly find one right here, but um, uh, there are cables where you have to have USB on the far end and not this RJ45 anymore. So if you have that, it works. If you get this cable, it works very similar to the other method. Um, but there aren't a lot of devices with that right now, so this should do you fairly well. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.